This way. This way. So on today's walk, we're heading back to a familiar place, Robin Hood's Stride. We'll put a link to that video below. But we're not actually going to have a look at Robin Hood's Stride. We're heading on a bit to a stone circle. There's always one. Hooray! So this is where we're heading to. Maybe not much to look at now. Of course, there's a story to tell about it. So this is known as Nine Stones Close. It's a small stone circle on the edge of Hart Hill Moor. We're not actually that far from the caravan, as you know from all the bits of running and stride. Rich in prehistoric landscape, including Bronze Age barrows and settlement enclosures. Prehistoric time consists of four remaining upright pillars, which were originally part of a circle of around 30 meters in diameter. It's quite big. Several others were removed in the 18th and 19th centuries. One of the stones was actually taken in the 18th century and is now in a gatepost just over there, which we'll go and have a look at after. It's uncertain if there were originally nine stones, one theory being that nine is a corruption of noon, said to be the time when, according to local folklore, folklore fairies would gather at the site to dance. And one of the stories, 
the local folklore story says that originally fairies were dancing here and over at Robin Hood's Stride which is called Robin Hood's Stride because the giant was called Robin Hood not the Robin Hood we all know which actually stood at the top of there and urinated and the fairy saw him and in shock immediately turned to stone Excavations in 1847, 1877 and 1939 found flints and pot shards which date the monument to the Bronze Age. It's amazing to think it stood here all that time. Can have a closer look? I had a wander around before. Did notice that there are some grooves in a couple of the stones. You look here. You do have to wonder whether that was natural or man made. Looks like it's a water course. The water flows down, then off. But it's only in two of the stones that are here. Not in that one. Not in that one. But again, in this one, there are grooves. <laughs> this one's quite a deep groove. I can get most of my hand in. So you do wonder whether the groove was made for a reason. You do wonder what that reason was. And again, on the other side of it, not as deep, but it's there. So there in the distance is Robin Hood's stride. So you can just imagine a giant stood atop that, having a wee, and the fairies dancing here. And in shock, they turn to stone. Shall we have a look at a different angle?
and this is the uh, stone that's been or was removed in the 1800s from the circle to make a gate post although the gate post has been blocked in filled in so this is the stone Nice place for a cache. <laughs> quite hollow that. Well, Is it? Quite deep. You wonder whether that, that's something to dig for when he moved it for a gate post. Another, another but it's got groove a, on it yeah, as well. Yeah, groove, hasn't it? So. So.